Mr. Chairman, the Davis-Bacon Act requires nearly all federal construction contracts to pay a prevailing wage determined by the Department of Labor. Under the law, construction contractors and subcontractors may not pay their own workers wages lower than the, the department's pay rate, even if the workers bargain for a wage below the government set rate. My amendment blocks application of Davis-Bacon to the Military Construction and Veteran, Veterans Affairs Appropriations Bill. There are two main reasons why the House should block Davis-Bacon. First, Davis-Bacon wastes taxpayer dollars on overpriced contractor, contracts. A recent study showed that, on average nationwide, the government set rate is 22 percent higher than the true market rate. For example, sheet metal workers in Long Island, Long Island New York are paid $28.79 per hour, while the government set rate for that area is $45.40. Factoring in the cost of materials and other supplies, studies suggest that the federal government overpays for construction contracts by between 10 percent and 15 percent. Second, Davis-Bacon gives an unfair advantage to union employees. Small businesses, many of which are non-union, lower their prices to compete against larger union firms. The trade-off for non-union employees is a lower wage rate, but more work. We should not disadvantage non-union employees who are willing to perform more construction for less money. By eliminating government mandated wages, we can better allocate resources, increase efficiency, and put hardworking Americans back on the job. Providing for our national defense and the care of our veterans are critical priorities. Construction projects in the Appropriations Bill include VA facilities, family housing, schools, and infra infrastructure for our National Guard troops stationed on the border. We owe it to our constituents to stretch every taxpayer dollar and spend wisely. Blocking Davis-Bacon's application to military construction and VA projects will honor our commitment to fiscal responsibility and to our veterans. Let's let competition determine wages, not the federal government. Please support my amendment to block Davis-Bacon. At this time, I'd like to yield as much time as you may consume to the gentleman from Texas.